everybody. We're going to be fighting Tone here in a second. Obviously, if you guys want to see the pace, you can go and check the description down below. But we're going to get started in a second here. Let's see what Tone decides to bring. Um, obviously, this season hasn't gone the greatest for me. Uh, you know what? I don't have time for that. Did not bring the Oricorio and brought Swalot. That is completely fine. But everything else we got correct because it felt kind of obvious that he was going to bring those mons. Um, not like in a bad way, just like in a his team's kind of top heavy way. Season hasn't been going that great for us, I'm not gonna lie to you, but I would like to try to close out these last few games with wins, but we'll see how that goes. Um, but knowing what I know, I already got everything typed out. I just need to relook at some team builder here. Okay, so I, I could easily just lead Iron Valiant and just start blasting, but I feel like that's too much. <clears throat> There's a chance though if I lead off Grimstar, that could be a really good decision. I'm expecting like Swalot or um Swalot, uh Goldango or um Great Tusk lead, but if I get off the Cyclozar into my Iron Valiant will be good. I think, however, Bronzung might be the way. <laughs> if we go hard Bronzung first, what's he gonna do? Oh, we gotta choose our mons. Actually, I'll just lead off with uh Mike White and see how it goes. Uh, for context, Tone is a Jets fan, so I named everybody after uh, players on the Jets. And I'm a Giants fan, so we're kind of on two ends of the same, of the same circle. <laughs> so, GLHF to Tone, my brother. Uh, not literally, but you know, we, we, you know it's, it's, when I'm recording this, it's, about, it's the end of Black History Month. But when you're seeing this, it's March. So, hey man, you know, that's my brother right there, bro. All right, we're gonna see Goldango lead, which is fine. I could see Trick coming out here, which is also fine. I don't mind losing my leftovers in exchange for going for Earthquake here. Um, only because on his end, there's nothing that wants to take an Earthquake, so I can just go ahead and Earthquake. I don't mind losing my item in response to this. Because at very minimum, even if I do lose it, it's not bad. And everything else on his team doesn't want to take an earthquake, especially if I'm tr if I'm stuck into it, if he tricks me. But also like something at Roaring Moon can't set up on me that much yet, so it's gonna trick, which is obvious. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and get the choice spec or choice scarf rather. That's fine. Uh, could give us a chance to outpace Swallow, but I don't think we do. We are just gonna earthquake here, and get us some really valuable damage. Um, doesn't tell us much here. He is going to take our leftovers, obviously. And since now we are choice scarf, I can go ahead and put that in here. Um, I really don't care. I'm like damn well just a defensive Dondozo. So I feel like he's just going to switch out here and get some setup going. And all honesty, that's fine. If he goes into guard, if he goes into like Roaring Moon, that'd be fine. Great Tusk comes in, which is fine. He's probably going to put up rocks this next turn. Um, we're gonna get off a little bit of damage, which is awesome. Not a lot. He is just leftover, so he is defensive here. Um, he's probably gonna put up rocks. I could easily just go into, um, I could just go into Iron Valiant, honestly, and just put this thing in the ground. Um, but I don't think that's the strategy here. Ah, uh, let me see. <laughs> Goes for rocks now. I don't think Terra Blast ever kills this in one shot. Uh, my win con realistically is Cyclozar into something, so I kind of had to play it like that, honestly. So I'm gonna go into Quentin now. I feel like he doesn't go for knockoff, he goes for rocks here. I'm gonna just start blasting because there's no reason not to. If he does just kill me, that is unfortunate. But I might as well go ahead and burn this now while I can. Obviously, he has Swalot maybe for this, I assume. Um, he is just going to over stealth rock, so I'm glad I called that out. Um, we could call mine this turn, but I feel like that's a really bad decision, all things considered. Obviously, he's going to go into Swallow out this turn. I don't think there's any real reason for him not to. Um, Swallot. I don't even know what this Pokemon really fucking does, but if he's like Spadef, Swallot, how much do we do to that? Uh... You just go over here, Iron Valiant. Yeah, Max Bidef isn't taking shit from anything we can do. I'm still going to Moonblast just in case. Yeah, he's going to go ahead and go into Swalot, I'm pretty sure. Um, there it is. The Swalot is the Iron Valiant uh, counter. We're going to see if this is AV or not. That 
looks to not be AV. We do drop the special attack, which is fine. Not black sludge. It could be AV. Uh, let me just throw assault vest on here. Uh, I mean, that depends on his nature as well as what his investments are, but okay. Um, we're going to switch out here. I don't really need the booster energy on this anymore. I'm going to go into Carter. If he goes for a poison move, he does. If he goes for a knockoff or whatever he does, I can't tear it here, unfortunately. But I can still come in here pretty easily. Bronzong. He is just going to sludge bomb, which is fine. Good for me for scouting that. Um, let me just go ahead and do a little calc here. Not really a calc, it's just me more so looking at a Pokemon. Uh, this gets like nothing to hit me with outside of poison moves, right? Yeah, because it gets no dark moves. It gets like stuffed cheeks and stuff, but fire punch, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go in earthquake. I don't believe anything is going to be coming in here that I give a shit about. Unless it's Volcarona. That's Goldango. Goldango's probably going to die here, actually. Given what I know about my Bronzong. Yep, Goldango does unfortunately die here. Kills Goldango with Earthquake. All right, good kill there. <clears throat> this could allow him into Roaring Moon, but if we Terra Fairy here, he's going to be very sick life. Um, so I hope he doesn't go Roaring Moon, only on the practice that <clears throat> he shouldn't go into Roaring Moon. If he goes Roaring Moon, then I'm picking up a second kill. And I mean, that should be a really fun kill if he goes into it. He probably thinks I'm Colberberry, so he might try to Dragon Dance that turn. I open up the wrong thing. Uh, let me just go over here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm in a call right now, so I forgot to mute that. Let me mute that real quick. Goes into Gardevoir. Okay. That's an interesting play. Gets my Levitate. That's fine. I feel like he could have done that earlier and gotten it and then just avoided this entirely. Uh, I am going to go ahead and just go for Gyro Ball. I feel like that's a fine play. I lose nothing in this situation, I feel like. The Shadow Ball isn't going to kill me at all. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good on stats. I'm pretty sure I'm like 132 plus sassy nature. So this will die to Gyro Ball no matter what. Shadow Ball will not kill us. <clears throat> yeah, once easy, we're down to 64 is a, is interesting damage. We should kill this. Oh my God. Why did he eat that? Um, okay. Let me check one calc here. Cause this will determine whether or not I go for my attack here. Uh, you see 50 shadow ball i went down 100 hit points i want to say yeah that that looks like it could be specs yeah that could be middling specs or a low specs uh, attack if i'm terra fairy he doesn't kill me if i'm spec since i'm spec so i can actually go ahead and go for that here in trick room <clears throat> he is gonna switch out that's amazing that's good stuff. That's great stuff. We are going to see Volcarona come in, which is unfortunate, but we are Terra Fairy, so that's cool. All right, let's see what we do here. We are going to trick him here because this definitely put Don Dozo in a really good position. Um, so I do want to see how much damage I can get up before I die. It's not a great Terra here, obviously, but I do want to see... Yeah, we're not doing too much to this Pokemon, are we? Let me see. 50. Eh, I mean, realistically, Earthquake will do the most amount of damage. Or Gyro Ball follows that up. I mean, like, we get Earthquake here in all honesty and be fine. Uh, his Flamethrower does up to 69 damage. Um, we're at 62. If I lose this Pokemon, do I lose? No. I easily go into Sauce or into Mike White and then just start hitting shit. And since I'm Scarf, like... Nothing wants to realistically take wave crash at this point because he's lost his uh, he lost his Goldango, so it's only really like something with a water absorbing type thing. Swallow out, I guess. I'm gonna earthquake. <clears throat> he is gonna terror here himself. Uh, we're gonna find out what that is. If he figures that I'm rock sliding or something of that nature, then we'll see. He is dark. I should have terror blasted. That's on me, but that's okay. Um, we are gonna get off a little bit of damage then, which is cool. <clears throat> We are going to see Bronzong probably die here. No cap. Yep. He's going to fiery dance. Nope. We're alive. Because we resist. He might think that I don't have Terra Blast. I don't know. But I'm going to Terra Blast here. I don't see why not. <clears throat> if he doesn't die, he doesn't die. 
I don't think he will though. Nope, that's a dead Volcarona. Okay. Nice. Kills Volcarona with Terra Blast. All right, good start to the game so far. He has the Great Tusk, he has the Swalot, he has the Roaring Moon, and the Gardevoir. <clears throat> we have three more turns of Trick Room left, I think. Right? No. Two more. Three more or two more? I don't know. I'll check in a second. I actually don't know how many more turns we have of this. Oh, yeah, because we have a lot of Spideff. So I keep forgetting that that wasn't going to kill. If Flamethrower wasn't going to kill, then that wasn't going to kill. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Earthquake's not going to kill this. We're going to get off a good chunk of damage, though, which is fine. If he decides to switch out, he doesn't. Uh, that would have been better for, like, playing it out, I guess. Uh, we are going to drop this pretty low. And Swalot is going to kill Bronzong, unfortunately, with Sludge Bomb. I do apologize for the crit there. But, of course, you know, it is what it is. I didn't get to check how many turns are left. Um, so that's kind of problematic. Uh, but if Swalot has no speed, we hit 84, I believe. I looked earlier on our Pokemon, on Dondozo. He would technically out and underpace us, <clears throat> which is not optimal, right? But since Volcaron is dead, all we have to deal with is three other Pokemon. We need to keep Mike White alive because there is the Roaring Moon. So in this varied case, I'm going to sauce. I got to go check how much we got. Because I don't want to go into Dondozo, allow it to get poisoned and whittled down. And that's the only problem. We got one turn left. So it was three turns that other turn, or two turns that last turn. Um, we parting shot unless he has clear emulate on something. Uh, he could easily go into, I would like to think, the, uh, the guy. I forget his name. I'm going to Thunder Wave here, though. Because if he switches out into... Yeah, I'm going to go and do that. Um, I don't want to give him the ability to... Um, I wish I had just parting shot it instead, but let's see. He doesn't get paralyzed. We are going to take this and not die, but we are going to get poisoned. I kind of figured, um, but this Pokemon's not as important anymore. But I wish, I wish with all my heart I didn't allow it to get poisoned, but it happens. <clears throat> so we are going to probably die soon. So I will just go for parting shot. I don't see why not. Drops his stats. Gives us the opportunity to go into Brees and Brees just spamming earthquake well actually now that i think about that could we spam close combat right now no because great tusk is around right yeah great tusk still well technically we could it won't do as much but i mean like we technically could gardevoir will live it more than likely but it shouldn't because it's at low health as well so we could actually just start spamming close combat if he gets paralyzed go ahead and get paralyzed for him big fella we intimidate him also minus one special attack. He is paralyzed. So we are just going to start close combating. Uh, yeah, that should be that should be good stuff here. So I'm going to close combat. Because for me, at the very minimum, at least I get this Pokemon dead. Um, Tauros fire kills Swalot with close combat. OK, so like I said, we have to keep Dondozo alive um, because Avalanche and Order Up will do a lot of damage to a Pokemon that is Roaring Moon, <laughs> and I need that. Um, let me just do for reference how much we do to that Pokemon in the first damn place. <laughs> with Avalanche, we do not kill it, but we 2 it kill it with Order Up. He's going to go into Roaring Moon, which means he's boosted energy speed. As far as I can tell, right? No, he's not. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll take that Pokemon then. Sure. I don't think, well, I didn't really give off the inclination that I was Scarf, so I'm very glad he did that. So, awesome. Because he would had to go into, um, he had to go into Great Tusk in order to really, like, eat the hit, so I'm very glad he didn't. So at least I get another threat out the way. Uh, he could rapid spin here. He could just earthquake. I think going into sauce is my best decision here. Um, yeah, because I want I would rather him die than Tauros because Tauros being able to spam flare blitz might be a little bit better, but we'll see. Um, oh, let's see. He I'm going to die to rocks. No, he's going to headlong rush. OK, that's fine. He loses his defense there. Great. Tusk kills Grim Snarl. 
with headlong rush. I cannot type correctly. All right. Um, he is lefties, obviously, but he is minus one. So realistically, Quentin comes in Moonblast twice. And even if we do somehow die, we have we have our uh, Dondozo. So this should be game, but I can't really make heads or tails of it right now. Let's see how this goes. Gonna just Moonblast. And that is a dead Great Tusk. Iron Valiant kills Great Tusk with Moonblast. I don't know if that was Scar. I think we determined it was Specs Gardevoir, I believe. Um, but I'm not actually sure. Um, I actually don't know. So we're going to find out, I guess. Uh, we're going to Shadow Ball. I don't really mind if I die here. Kills Gardevoir with Shadow Ball. All right, so we are faster and we are going to win this game uh, by 4-0, I believe that is. Yeah, I think so. And so, all right, uh, good thing we got a win here. Uh, that was really nice. Um, good stuff. GG to Tone. Um, get our second win on the season and definitely in a season where things were not going our way. I think the last game of the season is a divisional type of game where we play somebody in the opposite position of us or in the opposite conference in the same position as us, I should really say. I don't know who that is, but we'll find out next week, guys. Thank you guys for watching. You guys like this. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Check out everyone else in the YCL down below. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.